In today's video, we are going to visit Alligator Bay Distillers. Welcome to the Average Meat Channel. Today finds us in Punta Gorda, Florida, where we're going to visit Alligator Bay Distillers. It's my understanding they not only distill rum, but also whiskey. Let's get inside. It's a chilly day. It's in the 50s today. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. You recognize the current still is about 16, maybe 1700 gallons. When we order molasses, we're going to call the sugar mill, ask for 24 tons, and on a tanker, we'll receive roughly 4,000 gallons. Uh, here we have corn and malt, and on the surface, you'll see the foaming and bubbling of fermentation with an aroma that is more like sourdough to me. We're gonna cook the grain with water to about 200 degrees for an hour. And we, and we do have a stirrer, so mixing paddles sit here and stir and burn around the rack. Then we bring in the cooler, knock it down to 70, and then add the yeast. And then the yeast will sit here for 10 days at 70 degrees, creating alcohol. After 10 days, alcohol content should be roughly 10%. And that's now the alcohol that we boil and distill. And so off the chimney on top, the gas will dissipate into water and release. Again, so that we don't incur a vacuum. When we fill the tank, we fill the tank to my hand. And so you have 525 gallons, but only 400 gallons of liquid ferment, but it fits in the 400 gallon still. But I never run the still when I'm not here. And I can only run what's still the time with the power that the site has. And so electricity is being used. Um, I have to pick and choose which still to run. If I ran both together at the same time, I wouldn't be able to keep up with the cooling of the vapor back to liquid. Pick on over and you'll see the coil starts at the top and it works its way all the way down to the spigot. It's like a gun ball side. That it is important that you don't want for liquid to catch and create back pressure. This composite of alcohol is about 180 proof. And uh, an easy way to calibrate uh, a little Austrian device. I'm going to siphon rum into the device and get a ring on the screen. And we should have like a 185, 180, 187 reading. When you look at proof, if I wanted to go to 190, I would have to run this again. Oh, wow. Stop here. Uh, hold the beer keg out of this cap, and now we can pressurize the tank with our flavors. And so for the spice rum, we then dump the orange peel, the ginger, the pepper, and then pressurize for four weeks, and then it falls. Now feel free to walk through the barrel room. The alcohol will slowly evaporate through the pores of the oak to the angels in heaven. The devil's cut is what gets lost in the wood itself. And so as liquid sits and saturates into the oak, that's your devil's cut. And so on both ends of the spectrum, you will have loss year round. This is pretty cool back here in the barrel room. We're now going to insert our glass onto the pour spout and let it fill. As the liquid rises back to that opening, it's going to suffocate and stop the flow. Then we'll pull off the can cap. After the bottle is capped, bring in the label, bring it onto the label applicator, and there you go. Feel free to mix your Keep your cups separate, and I'll refill them as they run empty. Uh, it's 40% 80 proof. We do quarter ounce pours. And if you'd like, use your juice and mix to create a little cocktail, um, or otherwise use it as a So you can mix it with anything. Um, Basically, it's kind of not the right now, exactly, yep. Um, now the gold is 10 months old and then honey flavored. The uh, rum, to me, has a little bit of a whiskey profile now uh, from the aging. And 
I've had guests mention that it reminds them of Honey Jack Daniels. And you know, mm. if I'm in the really good flavor. Kind of Boy, that one really has a nice sweet flavor. Yes. It's really yeah. good. You get that kind of char uh, profile, and then you get the honey sweetener. Very good. Oh man, that was really good. Just with the uh, juice, it tasted like a really well mixed cocktail. There's yeah, honey yeah. in there. Yeah. Really, really good. And we finished to it. The dark rum is our most popular. Um, the flavor was kind of an accident. I wanted to make a similar rum that we were making, the uh, dark. Uh, mm -hmm. they That's really good. Really? You know, correctly. So I just did a experiment. Just, uh, we always batch the bottles, so uh, right now we're on batch 66. The I like the honey bit. better. And but each batch this was really good on its own. I have a chocolate martini web, uh, recipe on the website that I use hot spice. Uh, but it's not jalapeno hot. And we wanted to... Uh, where you get that citrus profile off the top. Oh, very citrusy. Very and then the orange. Yeah. Very good. This honey one, another shot. I like this. That was a lot of fun. So I got the, uh, I think it was the gold. It has the honey. And then we got, well, I got to show this side. This side has the label, right? So we got uh, a bottle of that gold. I, I don't remember if it was called the gold or the honey. I have to look at the label. And we got a little two ounce of the regular rum, the white, the clear, whatever you want to call it. I was asking him the difference between white, clear, crystal. He said it's just marketing. These companies like to have different names uh, to try to set their rums apart, and it's just marketing. This was really fun. It was a, a little distillery. Compared to the last one we were at, this one is a much smaller distillery. It looks like there's just a couple of guys running it. I didn't really ask him, but really a lot of fun. I enjoyed this afternoon. I hope you did too. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. Don't forget to ring that bell icon. Now, it's, it's a chilly day. Um, he said it was 70. It's in the 60s. Um, if that, it was 58 when we pulled up. But we're going to head out and uh, get a bite to eat somewhere around here. Maybe we'll head over to uh, Cape Coral or Fort Myers. I don't know where we'll end up, but we'll uh, grab some dinner and then call it a night. So thanks for joining me.